Python lets you deal with different kinds of numbers. This is a float and this is an integer. This is a complex number and this is a hexadecimal. You can convert a value to a different data type if it is compatible. Let's do some questions on numbers. NOT gate. Build a function that simulates a NOT gate. If the input is 0, it returns 1. And if it is 1, it returns 0. But do this without using logical, ternary, conditional or bitwise operators. This is the function. It returns 1 minus the value of digit. If digit is 0, 1 is returned. And if it is 1, 0 is returned. We can also do this by indexing on a list. If digit is 0, index is 0 and 1 is returned. If digit is 1, index is 1 and 0 is returned. Expanded. Write a function that expands a number. For instance, 42301 becomes 40,000 plus 2,000 plus 300 plus 1. So this function takes a number. It converts this to a string. For each character in the string, if it is not the character 0, add to a list the character concatenated with the appropriate number of zeros. It then joins everything with plus signs and returns this. So 429 becomes 400 plus 20 plus 9 and 32401 becomes 30,000 plus 2,000 plus 400 plus 1. Dog age calculator. A dog's age for the first two years is said to be equal to 10.5 human years for each year. Every consequent year amounts to four human years. Write a function that takes the human age from the user and calculates the age in dog years. First, we make sure the age is zero or greater. We use an assertion for this. We multiply the human age by 10.5 then subtract from this the age for two less years by multiplying it by 6.5 because we do need to multiply by 4 for the rest of the years. We subtract this only if the age is greater than 2. So for 0 human years, it's 0 dog years. 1 human year is 10.5 dog years. 2 human years are 21 dog years. 3 human years, 25 dog years. 4 human years, 29 dog years, and 9 human years are 49 dog years. Binary to decimal. Write a function that takes a number in 1s and zeros, considering it binary, and returns its decimal equivalent. The result is 0, and the multiplier is the length of the number in binary minus 1. For each digit in the string version of this, we multiply its integer version by 2 to the power of the multiplier and add this to the result. We keep decrementing the multiplier by 1 each time. We then return the result. So triple 1 is binary for 7 and 101 is binary for 5. 